a middle-aged man with a history of tonsillar cancer who has undergone chemotherapy and radiation returns to the operating room for direct laryngoscopy and re-biopsy. The patient has had increasing trismus over the last month and a half. His interincisor gap is now less than 1.25 centimeters. Following preoxygenation, he is induced with propofol and a non-depolarizing muscle relaxant. His interincisor gap remains at 1.25 centimeters. A King Vision channel scope has been loaded with a 7.0 endotracheal tube. The trismus does not allow the appropriate angle of the entire King Vision scope, and the monitor of the scope is briefly removed in order to place the blade into the mouth. The monitor is now reattached. And the King Vision channel scope is advanced into the airway. The epiglottis is identified. The endotracheal tube is advanced in the King Vision channel. And tracheal intubation is confirmed with the detection of end tidal CO2.